So let's look at least from the west from the Sunport. We had a couple of those clouds move in here in the last hour or so that helped cool it by a degree, but I guess that works better than uh, going up from here. 96 is the current temperature here in Albuquerque. And some areas are a lot cooler because of the rain that they have ongoing. So looking in the northeastern part of the state, things are beginning to calm somewhat in Raton, but near Wagon Mound, beginning to see a shower there. Even near Santa Rosa along I-40 here, beginning to see a little bit of rainfall there. That shower or thunderstorm that went just west of Ruidozo is continuing to sink slowly to the south. Alan Magordo, it looks like you've missed your shot to get a thunderstorm as that's beginning to diminish. But looking here in Albuquerque, we have a lot of these little bitty outflow boundaries, and that's what helped pick up the wind briefly. We had a gust around 30 miles per hour at the Sunport, but it really didn't affect our temperature. 96, like I said, at the air at the Sunport. 95 in Tucumcari, 80 in Raton right now, still sitting in the 90s in Durango, Farmington, Gallup, you're sitting at 92 in triple digits right now from Roswell to Deming in Las Cruces. So for the rest of the evening, we're going to stay in the 90s through almost firework time, which is usually around 9 p.m. for most areas. Winds are going to remain out of the south around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So at least there's going to be a breeze because these temperatures are still pretty warm for that late at night. Looking for the rest of the night in the overnight period, we're watching those showers and thunderstorms begin to diminish after midnight tonight. Here's your projected low temperature starting out in the 50s in Taos when you wake up in the morning at 51, 49 in Grant, 67 for Socorro and even upper 60s here in Albuquerque. So we get toward the middle of the week for tomorrow. We're looking at isolated storms still possible here, mainly from Colfax and Union County all the way down toward Tucumcari. The rest of us are really going to be under the pressure of uh, or at least under a high pressure system, which really helps deter those storms away from us. And and because of that, it helps build the heat and another heat advisory is in effect for all of the Albuquerque Metro from 12 to 8 p.m. tomorrow. So looking at high risk future cast, I think it did a pretty decent job today. So we'll run this through tomorrow morning toward tomorrow afternoon. We'll stop this around 4 p.m. So Raton again toward Clayton can't roll out that some of these thunderstorms go rogue severe. Damaging winds and large hail are the main threats with that. And even here toward the Sacramento Mountains, places like Cloudcroft, you could see a couple of thunderstorms there. Uh, but those begin again to diminish as we go through the overnight hours and then your Thursday morning looks dry. The rest of our Thursday moisture has kind of downtrended a little bit. So this backdoor cold front we've been watching is really not going to enhance that thunderstorm chance as much. Maybe Friday it will help us out just a little bit. I will say behind this in the northeastern part of the state, high temperatures will drop a few degrees and it'll be in the 80s instead of the 90s. But we're going to have to deal with triple digits tomorrow in Roswell. Alan McGordo, you're on top of that as well. 101, 102 for Carlsbad and Roswell 103 for your Wednesday and Thursday. Though that thunderstorm chance does increase Friday and Saturday to about a 20% chance. Looking at the southwest tomorrow, Magdalena, you're at 93. Silver City, we're at 98 for tomorrow. Tomorrow with lots of sunshine, so another hot one indeed for the northwest and the four corners region. Durango 88, Cuba 91, looking at Gallup and Grants in the mid 90s at 94, and Farmington no relief for a long time. In fact, that 10% chance Friday is the best you're going to get for the next seven days, and even next week we're talking about triple digits in the four corners. Look at the North Mountains tomorrow, 83 for Chama, 91 for Los Alamos, well up into the 90s for the Española Valley. And even in Santa Fe, low 90s expected through Thursday. And then those rain chances do increase a little bit. And that'll help drop those temperatures down with that increase in moisture to the upper 80s. Raton, 82. Tucum carry 91 for tomorrow, 85 for Las Vegas. Looking at the East Mountains, into the low to mid 90s there, 91 for Sandia Park. And looking at the Metro, Berlin, Los Lunas to the South Valley. Triple digits, 101 to 102, and even in Corrales, Bernalillo, I do think we will hit the triple digits there as well. Rio Rancho will be close to it. I don't think 99 to 100 is going to make much of a difference, but for Albuquerque, mostly sunny and 100 for your Wednesday.